Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Virtual Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading about the letter Y. And yawn starts with Y, and yarn starts with Y. And yarn comes from sheep, and we're going to read all about it. All right, you guys ready for our song? If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp. If you want to read a book, sit and go. If you want to read a book, sit and go. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, sit and go. All right. Our first book is called Yawn by Sally Symes. When do you guys yawn? Do you yawn when you're sleepy? Hmm. So yawn. Sean gave a yawn. Oh, a big yawn. While sitting on his mat. Guess who he gave it to? A scruffy, fluffy... What is that? A cat! Cat gave a yawn as she lazily purred. Guess who she gave it to? A cheeping, chirping... A bird! Bird gave a yawn and pecked seeds from a dish. Guess who he gave it to? A splishy, splashy fish gave a yawn while drifting in his bowl. Guess who he gave it to? A biggy, diggy mole gave a yawn, then rested from her dig. Guess who she gave it to? A snorty, snouty pig gave a yawn and dreamed of snacks and tea. Guess who he gave it to? A fuzzy, buzzy bee gave a yawn. Worn out from making honey. Guess who she gave it to? A flappy hoppy. Bunny gave a yawn. Stretched out on his belly. Guess who he gave it to? An elephant named... Nellie! Gave a yawn, and this is what she said. It's time to put our jammies on and go upstairs to bed. Oh, look at all the yawning sleepy animals. Do you guys remember what they are? Well, there's Sean, there's the cat, a bee, a bird, a bunny, a fish, a mole, a pig, and Nelly the elephant. The end. Oh, that was a good book about yawns. All right, Y is also the first letter in the word yarn. And you know what they make yarn with? Sheep fur. So this book is called Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep, a yarn about wool by Terry Sloat.
Farmer Brown shears his sheep. Farmer Brown was shearing sheep, piling up a snowy heap of wool that filled his shed knee deep. Clip, clip, buzz, buzz, he took their wool and left them fuzz. Okay, that's big and fuzzy. He shears it off. He filled his bags up one by one with fleece, but when his work was done, clouds had covered up the sun. The sheep saw all their wool in sacks. Bah! they cried. We want it back. Hmm. Soon the farmer's sheep were shivering. They followed him, he was delivering, all their wool to Mr. Green. Who washed it out and combed it clean. Comb, pull, comb, pull, he cleaned and carted all their wool. Their fleece made such a fluffy stack. Bah, they cried, we want it back. The sheep went running, cold and shaking. Behind the farmer, he was taking all their wool to Mr. Peel. There he goes. Who owned the finest spinning wheel. Twist, hum, twist, hum, what had their fluffy fleece become? From fleece to yarn, it stretched and changed. Bah, they cried, our wool looks strange. Look at that, look how smooth it's become. Chilly sheep with goose bumps crying rode right behind the farmer flying down the road to Mrs. Muller. Who changed the yarn from white to color? Dip, dye, drip, dry. The yarn grew bright before their eyes. Look at all the colors. And while it dried upon the rack, one sheep cried, Bah, let's take it back. <gasps> What's this? The farmer asked his sheep. You're tangled up from head to feet. You're shivering cold and turning blue. So back to Farmer Brown's they flew. <gasps> Look at how tangled. I wonder what he's gonna do with all that yarn. What can you make from yarn? Hmm. He found his favorite place to sit. Then Farmer Brown began to knit. Hmm. Knit, purl, knit, purl, the farmer's fingers looped and twisted. Crowded on the porch together, trembling in the nippy weather. They watched him knit, and when he quit... What do you think Farmer Brown knit? <gasps> he put a sweater on to fit each sheep and then he buttoned it. Look at all the colorful sweaters. What color are all these sweaters? What color is that one? Is that pink? What about that one? Is that blue and orange and purple, yellow, red, and green. Good job. 
The sheep grew nice and warm again in brightly colored cardigans, in patterns made of red and green, and all the colors in between. Oh, they're so happy and warm. Now each year comes shearing time, the sheep wait eagerly in line to feel the clip and hear the buzz and wear their bright sweaters over fuzz. Oh look, he made sweaters for everyone. How nice, the end. Do you guys have sweaters you wear made out of yarn? I do, I'm wearing a cardigan right now and do most days. All right, so today the letter was Y for yarn. So I made this Y. I drew a Y on paper and then I had colorful yarn at my house. But if you don't, you can just draw colors on and pretend they're yarn in all the different colors we saw from the sweaters in the book. So there it is. Y is for yawn. Oh. And yarn. It was nice to have you guys come today and listen to my stories. And we'll see you soon.